Good evening. Today's uh, good evening. Today's Wednesday night church, and we're gonna sing "Trust and Obey." One in English and three in Navajo. When we walk in the Lord. We do his good will, he abides with us still, and to all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Amen. Thank you. Good evening. Prayer meeting again tonight. We're studying the the scripture on prayer. Uh, we just finished with our st uh, study of the Holy Spirit. So we'll begin. Let's uh, open with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we help, uh, ask you to help us again and bless our reading and study and help us to remember what we need to and be blessed. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, prayer. Uh, prayer. So there's a bit. Oh, if you uh, read uh through the Bible, you'll find that uh, God wants to fellowship with us. You know, the, God is not content with us just to to coexist with Him and never interact. He wants us to know Him and to communicate with Him. And throughout the Bible, we find that examples of believers who have uh, talked with God and prayed, and their answer, uh, prayers have been answered. And one of the greatest blessings of being a Christian is that we have the ability to talk with God in prayer at any time. So he, he also give us an example of prayer in his early ministry. And Paul, Daniel, and other men of God prayed to God. And they always had uh, hearing from the Lord and uh, were able to have a confidence in the help that God would give. So the, uh, the, the Bible teaches us that, uh, that we need to pray <clears throat> and then uh, and God is uh, like we said before that he's alive and he would uh, listen to us, our desires and then they give us uh, answers to that. Die Kotoka Baza, Eap, they need cows or just cow. So there's an Joy Bahan, Eti Kabaza, they didn't got a dot, oh, 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 o
The hymn that we usually sing, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, written by Joseph Scriverin, says it right, What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. It's very important that we understand the importance of prayer as we grow in the Lord. A cohortation, a yard, a dollo, a kiss and lead, a no better who it has a team, a la cohortolo, beg, or just lead a hot ass, so it again got so doesn't bear between Isha in Ilzeno, teach us a cohoea to just this evening we're going to be. Studying on the topic of prayer. One is prayer is an access to God. Access to no a sort of an eddy in God. A bound it a teen had not or teen a housing a teen. So there's an a grab a bound it or eight out a hunter. So we're going to turn to Ephesians 2.18. Ephesians 2.18. For through him we have, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father, Nila. There's that word access. Just like a road is an uh, highway 89 leads you to that step or page if you're going there. And uh, now we're going to go to Hebrew 4 and verse uh, 15 and 16. Hey, uh, uh, it's a good verse. Uh, I like this verse. I think I gave it to you over the uh, daily scripture reminder. It says, For we have n- not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may 
obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of a need. So it says to come boldly to the throne of grace, unto the throne of grace. Awati ka hap zana da no eya nikhe eya to eya to na ish nehi eya to be nikhi gi hund e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e Ato ntani liyasa e itigin ka pepe atso pa pethot ahtse anahi tsyahto lis ako ho eya a ahasan to ato nta atso pa eya anahot i hat i da tsunuzano e ko eya haka ato luwas nila ako help ha ni ko sa da ko sa ka anlige so ha ni sa so tigin ka tiya he's the help like in time of a need and so tiya we do if you have a need you ought to be praying ato under that we're going to have a we can be assured that our prayers reach the very throne of grace It is amazing to think that we have an access to God because our standing in Christ, we can be assured that when we pray, our prayers go higher than the ceiling. ขอให้เป็นจบไปเลยจะดีสิ่งของสัตว์ตัวอื่นได้ซะจะเตะยาตัวนี้ตัวอะไรต่างๆเหตุเป็นหัวใจหนูเอ่อที่กินคริสต์
a a uh, Uh, that pain the vows is a, a different thing that can be taught on, but uh, uh, Pastor Ware was saying that uh, we need to be careful that we don't make any vows that we can't uh, m uh, make true. And I think the Jewish people, uh, when they made a vow, they're obligated to do it or they're going to die. So that, that, that might be the reason he said that. So, uh, so there's a certain uh, requirement uh, attached to that. But here it's, uh, on the other hand, we're talking about uh, that he will uh, hear, hear the that's important when you pray. Oh, ayat an ayat. So the zin bebechne. So the deal zin. Adon de dot zin. Ako e. Dona kin lida cho cho ko tot ao ya hal ne. sometimes the Lord will surprise you. And uh, like instant, uh, instant uh, answer. Like this afternoon I was studying and then I, I flipped the page just guessed where where the page might be. Actually came up to the verse that I think that I like to use hey, this afternoon. So sometimes you'll su be surprised how God will lead you. A kohona kwa Psalm five and verse five do this the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. The three, God is My voice shalt thou hear in the morning. And that's the verse that I would think I put down to. O oh Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. A bendigo issues and net she net the deeds in ordinary. I don't bendigo ancient so the zenegate a dish leaf a coho de gohatish hatnela. A coho so it he will hear you yeah, because you're directing your prayer to him. And then go to Jeremiah 33, three, probably a well-known verse. A lot of uh, Christians know this verse by heart. And I think I wrote that in the daily the verse that I put out over the phone chat say. Ainila, <clears throat> call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. So we call, calling is just uh, like you talk, you, you make your noise to the Lord. A coho inchna el de shrink. Ado yoda te obigata a you in shrinkshra de shrink. A don't spare her nila. You know, God can do mighty things that, that's beyond our comprehension. And the book of Psalm, actually, the book of Ephesians, chapter 2. 
will tell you the same thing that is above and beyond that we ask. So Matthew 6 or this, Matthew 6, 11. Matthew 6, 11. Let's see. Give us this day our daily bread. You know, you can ask for the Lord to give you bread, uh, physical bread and spiritual bread. Uh, I remember a preacher from uh, Garland, Texas, he used to say that we grew up very poor. <clears throat> and he said he didn't have any shoes, he had a hole in his uh, knees, pants, pant knee. And so every morning, Dad uh, was a drunk, so he didn't have food. So Mom would pray in the morning. And uh, he, he would say he, we would sit at the table with nothing on the table, and Mom would pray and uh, give us this Give us this day our daily bread. I guess that's a part of the direction of prayer that she would pray. And uh, he says there will always be a knock on the door. And somebody would uh, give us some food, uh, he said. So he knew that God uh, will always answer. A dig a teacher pun he pahagi in Hanan, so church who had no it's other than Boho, aha. Matthew has taught us at Atta. A coho ashi in the gitaners trying had let out our ashki yazin shown on yahadlet. Lay taxes the adshama ea to yan here than on a vision at Oatla. Co <laughs> And then uh, you have C. When we go to God in prayer, we need to remember that we are entering His presence. His presence of so there's no again for long. So what he had to run had long she a bounce as a kiss. Oh, wanky that's an ea ea had to run a racing quite an unraggy ea pitch the hats at sea of an ea. Should I hold a bouncy kiss she do a little? According, I see what the needles and dot are needed, need or yak what the needles and the way we should approach God. Reverently, sincerely, and humble, humbly. And now we're going to hear still at Matthew 6. And we're going to start reading at 7. All the way through 13. And we'll have... Uh, each one read a verse... You got one. Matthew seven, I mean Matthew six, and <clears throat> verse seven, Aiden. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the Catholic heathen. Do for they think that they shall be heard for they must speak. 
Karma Mahima verse 8. Share in the verse. <laughs> After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Four ten. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Okay, try read 11 and 12. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And I'll read 13. And lead us not into t temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And that will end our, our study t this evening. And we'll pick up again. We're, we're going slow so we can remember a whole lot more than uh, than we would if we just uh, breeze through. So I try to keep it uh, uh, in several parts. Okay. That is an ultra. And uh, this Sunday, we might have a drive-in Sunday service. We have not heard from the president of the Navajo Nation. I don't know what he is going to say on church services. And it seems like uh, the curfew is over. So the next thing on the list would be the church churches on Sunday. And then tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Daylight Savings Time, uh, we're going to have a, a camp meeting with uh, Tessa Anna Bible Church. And it's going to be on uh, teleconference. So I'm um, the preacher. I don't know what Sharon is going to do online, and then we'll have it online too. So uh, I kind of got some verses that I'm using in uh, the book of Luke, uh, chapter 10, 38 through 42. It's about two ladies. Uh, you know, their their contrasts to each other. And now uh, we're going to look at that to gauge our own spirituality, see where we are uh, with with our with our lives. And so that that'll be our our uh, teaching, preaching tomorrow. According Online Online so the online is still gonna be still be there. And uh and then can't uh meet in sadly has only Lincoln Johnson by a hundred Jahagi a ya hoza with counts of Stedo. Eight of best by a net a ya big eater. A hot hour in his hotel net as a dainy. A hot end as to a de de ane a day nagi dot a hot out or lens at the dasanos and the gate our a hot nishna gay. Bahot nishna. 
akoho eya ta anhi init ehegi so egisi etet o e bahates ni ko e e de hon so to les so tonight uh we're going to have a uh, the request again and uh Aiden, he'll be praying for Cheryl and her work, unspoken. And Gloria, go ahead and pray for John to Sunny, I think they're doing pretty good. Uh, don't see any problem. So they just probably need to serve uh, some areas. Uh, to toy, uh, pray for Stanford and Gary. Sharon, a uh, pray for the U.S. President and Navajo Nation. Lillian, a uh, church members, the all essential employees. Dali, a uh, JBG of uh, inscription house. Though the elderly. Cindy, pray for Solomon, Daryl, relating to their work, and then pray for Jerry, Benjamin, Sally, and Lily. Raymond, pray for Kinez. I don't know how he's, I think he's recovering. Maxine, uh, pray for the unspoken requests. And, and let's pray for Rietta that uh, she is uh, Dolly's uh, youngest sister a, a hospital huh, Nina? and then uh, Pauletta pray for the graduates they probably have a lot of plans and, uh, and a good, good life. Lester, pray for, I mean, Carletta, pray for Lester, the family, and uh, recovery. And Trey, did I give you one already? No. No? Pray for Eden's mom and dad. I think that's about it. Uh, Maxine said, pray for Sandra and the kids. Uh -huh. Their house burned down last week, but they're okay. They're living in Paige right now. Um, and also Wally said, pray for the Jehovah Church members. And their pastor and Pastor's life, pastor's family. Okay, I'll probably pray for those two groups. All right, that's good. Thank you. Thank you for praying. And then, then we, we had some good uh, news. Uh, remember Donna? Uh, Praise for recovery, real quick one. And then Eric recovered from his, and then uh, Sunday, and probably other answers that we haven't heard. So pray for me also tomorrow evening. Uh, you know, I, I got used to doing it like this. It's uh, more like a, the normal thing that I do every Sunday. And at first it was uh, kind of uncomfortable, but now it's just something that's uh, natural to do. And so, pray.
pray for the listeners tomorrow night. And that'll be it. Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you. Bless the Lord. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.